All right. Today, I'm going to give you a demonstration how to do the pollination of the pitaya flower or dragon fruit. First of all, I'm going to mention all the items that you need to do that particular pollination. You need the scissors right here, you need a hairbrush, you need a night lamp, you need a, a glass jar where you're going to keep the pollen and storage in there in the fridge data for at least five days. And here are the two different types of fruits from two different varieties because you have to do cross pollination from one pollen, the pollen from one fruit to another fruit. Okay, first of all, the flower, I'm going to give you the anatomy of the flower. You have in here the petals, you have in here the stigma, that is the female part, you have in here the anthers, that in the end of the anthers is where the pollen is. And over here you have the uh, oval over where the fruit is going to form. The way you do the pollination is normally this flower opens at 8 o'clock in the night and closes at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's a night flower. So you have to go and collect the pollen mostly at 9 o'clock in the night when the, the pollen is very fresh. The way you do is you get the scissors and you cut the anthers. Don't be afraid, you just cut it like this and then you introduce and you jar. Once you collect the pollen fresh, you move the pollen that is in your yard and that way you mix in the pollen from different flowers that I have in here so the, the pollen is already mixed and it's very, very easy to, to do pollination. So then you get your brush, as you can see, the yellow, the brush is almost yellow, that dust is the pollen. So that's what you have to put it in the female part, the stigma right here. Doing that, you're already doing the pollination. So you're doing the job of the bees, that's what they're supposed to be doing. But since at night time we don't have bees, you are the one who has to do it. Or another way to do it, is you collect with your fingers pollen like that and you rub it gentle like that in the stigma like the way you're doing don't press yes rubber gentle and automatically doing that you put in the pollen in the stigma and that pollination is done as you can see the stigma is far away from the anthers that's why it's difficult for the flower to do cell pollinated. But in some flowers, like in the Vietnamese type, you don't need cross pollination because the stigma is very close to the anthers, and plus, besides, the pollen works by, her, by himself pollinating his own flower. So, if you don't want to do any hand pollination, the best thing for you to do is get a Vietnamese plant and they will pollinate by herself. You don't have to do nothing at all. Then you, in 30 days after it's been pollinated, you will have this gorgeous fruit. As you can see, that's why they call dragon fruit or pitahaya. Inside can be uh, quite red or pink. The pulp depend what variety you have. This normally is pink, and this is another variety that I choose you. And here, this is in the pulp inside is red. As you can see there are two varieties. I choose it to show you that you can cross the pollen from this plant with this one or this one with this and that will work fantastic. Once you finish it all, you get the pollen, you yard, you cover it with you with the cup and then you store it in the refrigerator. Now in the freezer and the refrigerator so then the pollen can last you for five days so you can use it very good and fine nice with no problem at all. I have tough weather. My winters are be, uh, going down to 27 
and my summers they going up to 105 so these plants they require sun shade sometimes if you have too much sun but if you live close to the ocean you don't need that shade you don't need nothing after this seeing this little movie you don't will have any problem of doing pollinization I want to rem remind you that the, fr the button to the flower of this stage took 30 days and from flower to fruit takes another 30 days so actually you're talking about 60 days for the whole uh, procedure the time is needed to so you can get the fruit normally the fruit the flowers become uh, they need heat and become in the month of August September and October is when when this particular flower come and then you will have fruit mostly four months thank you so much and I hope so you enjoy this short movie bye bye